What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video we've got a gameplay with a kind of interesting card and it is the Calvin Murphy Diamond card. So before we get onto it, big thank you again guys for 100,000 subscribers and this is gonna be a tough gameplay and I'm currently like 6-0 on this system so for probably ruining my 12-0, if you guys could leave a like that would be great. If we could get 500 likes in this video that would be insane. But anyway, yeah, so Calvin Murphy is another one of those cards very like Isaiah Thomas that's just undersized. So Calvin Murphy is 5'9", so he's obviously tiny, same height as Isaiah Thomas, 185 pounds, he's got 15 Hall of Fame badges, one man fast break, pickpocket, deep, sorry mid range Jedi, pick and roller, sorry pick dodger, defensive stopper, sorry if I get any of these wrong, I'm still severely, severely jet lagged, difficult shots, dimer, tire score, catch and shoot, lob city passer, pick and roll maestro, acrobat, teardrop, relentless finisher, and anchor breaker, as well as gold corner specialist. But basically, Calvin Murphy is just like Isaiah Thomas, that... He's 5'9", so to try to make him usable, 2K basically maxed out the Hall of Fame badges. Except they didn't give him the most important one for a guy this height. Limitless range. Isaiah Thomas had Limitless, and that card was still bad, so I have no idea how this Calvin Murphy's going to be. And also, if you guys ever looked at the stats, this Calvin Murphy has a 25 intangible. So stats-wise, he should literally be a Galaxy Opal. And comfortably a Galaxy Opal. Like, if you were to make a Galaxy Opal in, or a, this card in rosters, and had his intangibles even up to 70, this card would be a 99 overall easily. 98 shot mid, 94 shot three, 99 free throw. He's getting 97 ball control, great passing stats, 97 steal, 99 speed, 99 vertical, 98 lateral quickness, and 97 on ball defensive IQ. So 2K, 2K couldn't have made this card much better, except for obviously giving him limitless range, which would have helped an awful lot, but it's evident that 2K are basically juicing his stats because well, he's 5'9". And there's no more complicated way of saying it. He's literally 5'9", so they juice the stats, just like Isaiah Thomas. However, unlike Isaiah Thomas, this guy is like 2 KMT, so... Like, there's, and there's a reason for it. So at the point guard, we're running with Charlie Scott, who... Not that bad a card. Not the best card in the world, but for AKMT, he's not bad. And also, the thing with Charlie Scott is he's Hall of Fame Dimer. Why... Why is there so many pictures now looking like deep-fried memes? Like this... They did it with this one as well. What are they doing? They did it to an extent with Calvin Murphy, but like, they did it with Gilbert Arenas. Like, these pictures are fine quality. Why are they deep frying them? But uh, yeah, Calvin Murphy, really good stats. Team we're running with is Charlie's got the one, Calvin Murphy the two, Bruce Bond the three, Magic at the four, and Bamba the five. The bench we've got Porter Jr., Katino Moby, Kevin Knox, Marvin Baggy, and Thon Maker, and Thurl Bailey in there in case Thon Maker gets tired. But anyway, yeah, that's the team we're running with. Now let's go into the hot zones for Calvin Murphy and his release, then we're going to get on to the game. If he doesn't have great release, this card's going to struggle. This card's going to struggle big time. So Calvin Murphy is going to almost everywhere on the floor. Release. Is that just a right-handed Isaiah Thomas release? It could well be. But uh, no, nah, it's a really nice release. Don't get me wrong. This is a really easy release to time. A little bit on the long side. No, nah, actually, no, nah, it's probably perfect timing. Like, to be fair, for this card, they had to give him a good release. Let's see the leaner. He's just so little. And I can't re even really play him at the one because he's not going to be able to free up his own shot. So I'm going to have to use him as a 2. Realistically, the only time he's going to get an open shot is in fast break situations. It's an absolute... Oh my god. I've never seen someone get as little separation on a step back as him. They should have just made him like a superhero and just dive far back for the step back. But unfortunately, they didn't. Dunking. He's actually got decent driving dunk rating. He'll probably dunk when he's wide open. That's about it. But yeah, he is just very, very tiny. And that's unfortunate, but small players are obviously not great in this game. But anyway, now let's just green on three, and now let's get on to the game. All right, not actually a bad matchup here. Kevin Herter on him. I'm going to switch it up and put uh, Charlie Scott the two, and put Calvin Murphy the one. But yeah, we should be all right. No limitless is a big, big problem. I'll pull it from mid. Good shot, Calvin Murphy. Let's go. Release is definitely slow. Connected. Leaner. That is very long. I know that went in, but... Like, I might have, all I'm gonna say is, I might have a 50 point game with this card. It's not a good card. I'm saying it right now, this is not a good card. Steal, let's go, Magic. Find Calvin Murphy from mid. Can't hit it. Calvin Murphy from mid again. Green light, let's go. Oh my god, he's got actually no dribble, dribble game. I know I'm not the best dribbler in the world, but I can still dominate with someone like Hito. Leaner, good shot, green light. 
All right, this guy is playing no defense, like. Calvin Murphy, yeah, sure he's 4 or 5, but this guy is just left him wide open. That's bad. In the Isaiah Thomas gameplay, I came up against a dude who literally just... That's a terrible shot. All he did was post me up with everyone who was Isaiah Thomas trying to guard. Now, if this guy posts me up even with Colin Sex, I think I'll have an advantage. Got him. Leaner. Good shot there by Mobley. Back to 3. Connected on the screen. Cleaner. Not the best release in the world, but Mobley ties the game up. That's two for two for him. In defense. Alright, so we're tied going into the second quarter. Calvin Murphy. I'm not going to say he's had a bad game, because he's hit a lot of shots, but... I can't see myself actually being able to do anything with him, because he's just so... Everything he does is clunky. I'll pull up. And swatted by Bamba. Don't walk going to the backcourt. That is a dumb shot right there. But he knocks it down. The defense. Hey Murphy, stop for three. Can or he hits it. Let's go. 13 for him. Not too bad on just over 50% shooting. And we are now down by three. Our bench line, which is supposed to be the line that carries us, is kind of blowing a lead. Thon to Kevin Knox. Who hits it? Let's go. Doing alright, I guess. Just need a couple. Actually, you know, it's 25 each at halftime. We're not doing alright. Doing alright defensively. Good hand by Mobley. Alright. I'm not worried. Not worried about winning this game, but gotta play a better second half. It's one thing he's significantly better at than Isaiah Thomas, though, his defense. But his dribble moves are just so slow. He's got a decent behind the back dribble, but his, uh, actually, he made a layup. Is a miracle. His crossover is super slow. Okay, it's open. Fade away. Can't hit it. You hope you'd be hoping with difficult chances that they're the type of things that'll go in. Fortunately, sometimes it's not the case. Leaner. Unlucky. Missed another one that probably could have went in. Long release, but hits it this time. Go. Let's go, to Charlie Scott. All right, Scott Murphy. Fake. Leaner. No separation at all there. Let's go, let's push it. Right to the basket, Calvin Murphy. Like, he has 20 points on semi-efficient shooting because this guy I'm playing is terrible. Got him. Leaner. Knocks it down, good shot. And he has not even tried to abuse the fact that I've got a 5'9 player on the floor. He has not tried to post him up once with anybody or even get a switch. No limitless, that's a bad shot. I've just, it's gotten to the stage where I'm just used to everybody in my team having limitless that I just assume they all do. Hey, look at that. That's an open dunk. Like, there is actually no defense being played there. All right, this is back to four. Need a big, big uh, start to the fourth. And this is a big possession here as well. Down for three. Green. That's a massive shot. I think he's got gold in us anyway. Maybe not. Oh, he's not missing two of these. Good shot. Corner three, hopefully. Let's go. Good shot, Mobley. He's four or five. He's either four or five or four of six from three, which is very, very solid. Let's go, Bagley. Kino Mobley. For three again. Green. Let's go. He's money. I don't lie. I don't lie in videos when I say he's people have the best release in my team. That someone are the best shooters. He's 15 points of seven shots. Okay, this guy. I was about to say he can't defend pick and roll, but his animations are just so slow with everything that Isaac caught up to. Him. Everything Calvin Murphy does is slow. His release isn't particularly fast. There's nothing he does fast in this game. And that's a problem when you're 5'9". You gotta have super quick animations, which he doesn't have. Like, they should have given him Earl Boykins animations. Base 8, nice dribble moves, because Earl Boykins is a semi-usable card, or he was for a while. That's a dumb shot right there. Like, Magic... Magic's the same, almost everything Magic does is slow. Except for the fact he's 6'9", so we can kind of get away with being a little bit slow. The basket. Good job, John Fell. Let's see what his free throws like. Here's the first. It's 99 rated anyway, so... It's gonna be hard to miss any of these. As the first free throw showed, that was a terrible release. See if he draws the double, good job. Hit Magic for mid. Magic knocks it down. 
At least he got an assist. 25 and 1. And a bad second half there for Calvin Murphy. So in the end, Calvin Murphy, 11 of 25 from the field. Not great. 1 of 6 from 3. He just, it was, he's baited. Every time he put up a shot, he was contested. Tino Mobley, 5 of 8 from 3. Was really solid there. I think he was 5 of 7 at one stage and missed his last one. Van Maker had 6 points. Magic Johnson had 4. Kevin Knox had 3. Charlie Scott didn't score. Bowen didn't score. Bamba didn't score. Michael Porter Jr. I only took one shot with him, which is crazy. Um, and Bagley didn't score. So anyway, that's the video. I'm probably going to realistically sell Charlie Scott and Calvin Murphy. I don't think they really fit too well into the No Money Spend squad, which is... There's like an honorary, honorary episode announced since the No Money Spend, spend account. But um, yeah. Like, Calvin Murphy couldn't stand out against Rubies. Imagine if you used him in a squad where he's one of your highest rated players. His card's terrible. And regardless of the fact he was 4 or 5 on open shots, great. I'm pretty sure most 95 overalls can hit open shots. Like, he's got slow dribble animations. He's got a slow enough release. He's fairly... He can be baited really easily. He's tiny. Decent enough defender on the perimeter, but can easily be posted up. There is absolutely no reason to buy this card. 2K could have given him 30 Hall of Fame badges, and there'd be still no reason to buy this card. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.